We have some very interesting news to discuss today as the Miami Heat are reportedly looking into acquiring Terry Rozier from the Charlotte Hornets. So we're going to break down that report and discuss exactly what it said and discuss potential pieces that could be going Charlotte's way. We'll also discuss Tyler Hero. He is insane and he is making Heat history. So stay tuned for all that and much more on this episode of Heat Digest. But before we do get into it, a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button. We are now on the road to 250 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed already, scroll down and hit that button. It means the world to me in Houston. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video today. And we have a lot to discuss. So let's start with Heat targeting Terry Rozier. And this report came out a few days ago. And it's a very, very interesting one. Now, when you're thinking about the current team's construction, you're thinking about the Heat. We saw your exposure get a massive contract yesterday. The team seems to starting and finally starting to settle into what their identity is. And bringing in Terry Rozier would be very, very interesting, especially as a compliment or depending on what the trade is, uh, a replacement of Tyler Hero. Now, I don't think Tyler Hero is going to be necessarily gone in this deal, but this is from Dior Washburn. He says the Miami Heat are heavily pursuing a trade for Charlotte Hornets guard Terry Rozier per Woj. Charlotte is seeking multiple first round picks in the trade package. So... This is an interesting one. Now, when you're looking at, of course, salaries would have to match, things like that. Terry Rogier is having a phenomenal season in Charlotte, and he is an absolute bucket getter. He can play the point guard. He can play the shooting guard. I think on this team, he'd probably be more acclimated to playing the two. But when you look at his stats, 24 points per game this season. He's shooting 37% from three on almost eight attempts a game. When you're looking at his career, we know what Terry Rogier is. He is not a defensive guard. He is not a facilitator. In his career, but this season he's averaging seven assists on the Charlotte team that has, of course, had to deal with injuries with LaMelo Ball. So that kind of opened up the spot. You can see most of his games have been at shooting guard, but he's kind of playing that point guard role as well. Now, when you're thinking about Terry Rogier and adding him to the existing Heat team, it's very, very interesting. We saw a couple nights ago where Rogier dropped 39 and eight assists with zero turnovers. Talking about would you want the Heat to trade for Scary Terry? I think it is very interesting. I think it's very it's a curious trade. Now, you look at the Miami Heat's team. You look at the, the depth chart, the roster, all these things. There's a lot of interesting ways you could fit Terry Rozier into this. And what I want you to do before we dive further into this is leave in the comment what you would be willing to give up for Terry Rozier. I don't have a proposed trade package for you today, and there's not too many because it's such an interesting trade. We know here from the report from Woj that Charlotte is seeking multiple first-round picks, so maybe the Heat would have to give up two firsts and matching salary. Whether It doesn't seem like they want necessarily a guy like Tyler Hero. I don't think the Heat would be willing to give up a guy like Tyler Hero right now. But again, when you're looking at how good he has been and you're looking at the depth, maybe he would be a bench piece on this team, be the sixth man who can come in and just absolutely dominate and score. And this his role would definitely be more limited with the Miami Heat than it was with the Charlotte Hornets. He is borderline their 1A option right now in Charlotte. Of course, they have Brandon Miller. They have LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball has missed a lot of time. But Terry Rozier has always been a bucket getter. And you think back to his time in Boston when he was coming off the bench, he still gave you a lot of effective bench play now obviously he's been starting almost he's literally started every game in his career since the Boston days five years ago but if he's willing and to come off the bench on this team it could be a very big uh you know really uh, one of the probably the best six men in the year but the question is maybe the Heat would rather acquire him and have him play as a starter maybe replace Kyle Lowry it completely depends on who they're starting on a night-to-night -night basis but they could start him on the as a point guard they could start him as a shooting guard they could see what he does and I think if you're giving up multiple firsts for a guy I'm talking about of course uh, the bench role all I'm thinking about but he's probably going to be in that starting lineup if they give up multiple first round picks to acquire him whether that's one first round pick whether that's two first round picks and it's up to you and it's up to the Heat front office to decide if a guy like Terry Rozier is worth multiple first round picks, because if you're going to be giving up multiple first round picks, you would want to think that that player would put them over the top because this is going to cost, according to Woj here, more than a Zach Levine trade would be. And when you're thinking about these two players, they have some similarities and they both shoot high volume. They both aren't great on defense. Terry Rozier is having a much better facilitating season. He is a better facilitator and could run into that. He could run away with the point guard role on this team in the Miami Heat and have Kyle Lowry come off the bench and continue to come off the bench in that way. But the big thing is, if you're giving up two first-round picks, or how many first-round picks you're giving up, you need to be sure that this player is the one who's going to put you over the top. And it's up to us as Heat fans to figure out if this is the guy that you would want to really give all of this uh, asset, all the assets away for at this trade deadline. Because we know, now that Jimmy Butler's starting to get healthy, recovering from his various injuries that have continued to evolve, 
the Heat are finally starting to get into a good spot. They've won a good few games over the last 10. They've started to kind of get into a rhythm here. Jaime Hawkins Jr. has obviously been the biggest story of the season, but when you have a guy like Terry Rozier, you cannot go wrong with that at all, especially given the fact that you have all, you have guys like Josh Richardson. Obviously, you take uh, playing time away from guys like Josh Richardson, maybe even guys like Caleb Martin. Tyler Hero's having an unbelievable season himself. And when you have Terry Rozier and Caleb Martin on the floor at the same time, that is a powerhouse of an offensive uh, lineup and roster. But the defense is the biggest concern here. Rozier is not a great defender. You can see here, he I mean, he's averaging a steal a game, but he's a small guard. He's not a phenomenal defender. So you might have some defensive issues there, especially if you're deploying Tyler Hero and Terry Rozier on at the same time. So let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this trade. Do you think it would be a good trade for the Miami Heat going forward and what would you be willing to give up for the charlotte guard all right let's move on now to tyler here as well we've been kind of discussing it a little bit uh, throughout this video just because it naturally worked um tyler hero is incredible this season he has been unbelievable and i just wanted to point out he's obviously been a over a 20 point per game score and that's why i don't think the heat and tyler hero might be one of the reasons the heat don't go after terry rogier obviously they're both uh, different players uh rogier is a much more of a facilitating minded guard at least this season compared to other seasons but tyler hero is that guy who gives you the instant scoring punch that terry rogier also gives you but i wanted to point this out that tyler hero has moved to number five in all-time three-pointers made passing mario chalmers is of course the heat all-time number five not all time in NBA history or anything in the current league. Tyler Hero is an absolute sniper, and he is a guy, and I think he is a cornerstone for the Miami Heat going forward. We all know this. He's been in tons of trade talks over the past few years. He battled with injuries and missed a lot of time last season. So now the question is that he's finally healthy, playing a lot of games. Is he going to be the guy who the Heat really build around going forward alongside Jaime Hawkins and into the depths and the end of Jimmy Butler's, uh, not at the end of his career, but as he starts to age a little bit? I think the biggest thing here is that uh, Hero has been unbelievable, and that might actually be a reason why they don't end up going for Terry Rozier. I mean, we're looking, he's putting up 19 shots a game, Terry Rozier is, and I just don't know if it would be too redundant having him and Hero on the floor at the same time. And maybe there's some Terry Rozier fans out there who are more uh, on his side or know more about how he's been playing in Charlotte. I haven't watched too many, obviously, Charlotte games, but I mean, he's 29 years old. I know what he's like. He's a great scorer. But Tyler Hero is also unbelievable, and I wonder if they would hinder each other whatsoever. Or do you guys think that Tyler, that Terry Rozier would be able to adopt into more of a point guard, traditional point guard role who can also score and really excel their playmaking if moved to a Heat team that has a lot more options than Charlotte does? We saw that with Emmanuel quickly going from the Knicks to the Raptors, and now that he's given a more of an assist role and a traditional point guard role, quickly sky quickly assist numbers have absolutely skyrocketed. So it's going to be very interesting to see. And again, let me know in the comments what you would be willing to give up in a trade for Terry Rozier. Would you give up one first round pick, two first round picks? Would you give up Tyler Hero? It wouldn't happen. But I'm very curious to see what you think because according to Woj, the Heat are heavily pursuing Terry Rozier. But that'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 250 and we will see you guys in the next video.